This is Twit. Okay, this one I am mad about. New York Times. Cooper Quinton, who is from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Our cell phones aren't safe. Actually, I think this is a very oh. important article. Security flaws threaten our privacy and bank accounts, so why aren't we fixing them? This is not about privacy, Jeff. Well, I didn't even, you know what, I didn't even click on the headline originally because I thought it was another, you no. know, going to give you a brain cancer story. No, it's actually about SS7, which we've been talking about for years on Security Now. It's the, it's the uh, software, Signaling System 7, uh, that runs in all cell phones. It's part of the radio. We, there have been f weaknesses we've known about for years in SS7. Nobody's doing anything about it, and they never have. And he talks about, in 2017, criminals took advantage, for instance. For instance, this is just one of many examples of a SS7 weaknesses to carry out financial fraud by redirecting and intercepting text messages containing one-time passwords for bank customers in Germany. Uh, it's part, you know, you've heard about all those stingrays. Basically, it lets you spoof a cell tower. Yes. So if you want to spoof a cell tower, and oh. people feel that cell networks are very secure. They're not. So you're like, hey, I'm on a cell network. But yeah. like I was talking to somebody in the security world and they were like, yeah, we had a CEO of a Fortune 500 company whose cell phone was talking to a, a fake cell tower, basically, that they had set up. That some yeah, hackers a set up. So it's a stingray. This, yes, and they're all this over is, Washington D.C. By the way, yeah, it's a big deal. SS Seven, which was written in 1975. Oh, that's older than I am. It's older than Stacy. Oh, shush, Stacy, shush. I'm just saying that's good perspective. I'm I'm pretty. So old. this is actually. Uh, I have lots of viruses. I think it's bad to say <laughs> this headline is bad because it's not quite really the issue is they're a security nightmare and this is true well i think that, i mean and, and i used to run up into this a lot when i was writing about technical topics like this this is hard to like headline and make people care about it really is because you have to explain so much so the headline and stuff like this is just a oh pain. i know you know it was on 60 minutes two years ago yeah they showed it being hacked they showed a senator uh, who volunteered for this, they show how easy it was to hack his phone. And nothing was, nothing, a senator, a United States, nothing has happened. So anyway, I, I mentioned it again. <laughs> Not that anything will happen, but I mentioned it again.